Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Bros Guy Gaming. It's your boy Sunny, and we're here with episode six of the Manchester United career mode. Let's go ahead and look at that table, man. We're still unbeaten. We got two draws, seven wins in the league, which leaves us with 23 points. Also, the four teams that are behind us is Everton, West Brom, Manchester City, and Chelsea, all on 18 points. So we have to pick up three vital points here against Fulham. And as you guys probably know, Fulham has have recently played against Manchester United. We picked up that big. 3-1 win whoop, whoop. <laughs> picking up three vital points man but David Moyes seriously David Moyes seriously needs to get his act, act together man but he is a great manager hopefully he can show that at Manchester United but we got Lindegaard in goal as you guys can see Raphael Jones and Bottner at the back three at the back Fletcher and Carrick forming that UK partnership in the center, central defensive midfield place Valencia in right mid, Giggs in left mid coming into the team, a bit of experience, cleverly in CAM and Rooney and Wildback up there in strike and also we got players like Makeda and Zahar on the bench man but Wildback coming into the team is the big thing in this because you guys are going to see a lot more of Wildback and you know why because when he plays little dinks over the top like that into Wayne Rooney, boom and it ends up into the back of the net with that you got to play well back a lot more, man. But what a great little through ball over the top from well back. And a great goal from Wayne Rooney. He's a beast, man. He's a beast in FIFA. He is a beast in real life. He started to lose his form. And then he came back with some great through balls into Valencia. You know what You know what game I'm talking about. And a great um, goal against Fulham, too. Yeah, that's the game I'm talking about. Not this game, but, you know, the game in real life. But as you can see, Carrick gets on the ball there. And you know with his long passing ability, he's going to get it to Giggs nicely. And when you got Giggs on the left wing and Rooney in the middle, that's going to happen. And he puts it into the back of the net, making it 2-0 in the 56th minute to Manchester United against Fulham. And look at that. He's going to go ahead and cap it, copy... Cappy, gonna go ahead and copy the Balotelli celebration, but enough for the celebration because what a header that was from Rooney, not the tallest player on the pitch, running out of breath there, you know, a bit of stamina issues, <laughs> but yeah, we're not the tall, tallest player on the pitch, but he puts it into the back of the net nicely, cleverly also getting a chance there, and the goalkeeper pulled off a great save, look at this, we're gonna go ahead and show that once again because cleverly took a nice big shot at the ball there. And the goalkeeper had to do like a little bit of a left hand stretchy dive kind of thing. And straight from the goal kick, you guys are going to see Stockdale just booted it up to Ruiz. And Berbatov on the ball. You guys know Berbatov's a former Manchester United player. He's going to play that ball straight over the top. Like, watch this. Into Dejaga. And he makes it 2 one bringing a goal back for Fulham picks that ball up and he's like come on let's go we need to get another goal but look at this for a great through ball I'm not sure why Manchester United let Berbatov go um, to Fulham of all teams you know but they are a great team now they've got Berbatov, Dejagad, they've also got Ruiz who's actually a great player um, but yeah great team but they couldn't pick up a great result Wayne Rooney um, on the score sheet there twice for Manchester United also that last goal from Dejaga picking up that last goal for Fulham of the season I'm joking it's not going to be the last goal of the season but it's a good goal for Fulham against Manchester United kind of copied the Wayne Rooney goal but Wayne Rooney made it look better that's just about it man but we got this big game in the Champions League the Champions Cup up against Napoli hopefully we can pick up a win because we're playing our beast team once again we've got Linda Garden goal because he plays so good against Fulham we've got Raphael in right centre back Ferdinand coming in in centre back Butner in left centre back we've got Fletcher and Anderson, so two CDMs I wouldn't usually play playing this time. We've got Valencia in right mid, Young in left mid, Lingard, a little 19-year-old, I believe he's 19, in CAM, and Rooney and Wildback up front once again. Once again, missing Van Percy is not even on the bench. We've got Giggs, Zahar, Makeda, Karik, Vidic, Evra, and Amos on the bench, but Van Percy is nowhere to be seen. You guys are going to know why pretty soon, man, but Young plays a great through ball into Lingard. Lingard plays it to um, Rooney, and Rooney shoots, and it comes back out to well back and when he plays a dink over the ball to get the assist for Wayne Rooney against Fulham and then he scores when I play him again there's there's got to be a reason for him to be in the team man I thought maybe Van Persie and Rooney is the partnership that I'm going to be using throughout the whole of this season but when you play well back it's just whole, so so hard to take him off the pitch you know because he's scoring like how did he do that? Like, he outran the um, defender. But watch this. A bit of speeded up play here. You guys know I like speeding up that play. Because 
they score straight away. That's just about it. That's just about the reason, man. But they get it through here on the left wing. They get it into Hamshik. And look at that for a header from Hamshik. Put it into the back of the net. 17th minute, making it 1-1. Tying it all up for Napoli, which isn't good for us. But it was a good goal. We can't take anything away from it. Look at this. From one side into the other side of the net. And Lindegaard couldn't do anything about it. So we do pick up a 1-1 draw, which means we pick up the one point. Which isn't great for us, you know. We have to be climbing that table in the Champions League. I believe we lost a game. No, we haven't lost a game. The whole season we haven't lost a game. We drew a game against Real Sociedad. We won and Borussia Dortmund, we drew. I think that's how it was. I'm not sure. You guys can let me know in the comment section if I am incorrect. But there is Van Persie. He's coming back and you know why? Because our next game is against a big rivalry. His former club, Arsenal. So we have to pick up a big win here. So Van Persie has to come into the team because he's going to be making the difference. You can see to Steigen is in goal. So we're bringing back our four at the back. Raphael, Jones, Vidic and Ever at the back. Carrick and Fellaini in CDM. Nani on the right mid. And Royce on the left mid. And Wayne Rooney in CAM. And Van Persie up front. But we got Wild back on the bench just in case. We got Zaha, Kagawa, Anderson, Butner, Fabio and Lindegaard too. So a lot of players in this team are ready for this kind of game. You know, the big rivalry and we have to be picking up the win. And as you guys can see, we were straight on it. Wayne Rooney gets it through to Carrick. Carrick plays it down to Nani. Nani's going to get past the defender, play it back to Van Persie. Van Persie's going to try and shoot. It gets blocked by the goalkeeper, but only as far as Wayne Rooney. And Wayne Rooney's been... Wayne, bleh, Wayne Rooney has been playing beast these last few games. You guys have saw he's near enough scored in every game, but I don't agree with that celebration. It's not a good celebration. I don't like it. <laughs> but it was a good goal. You guys can see that right here. Look at that for a nice little slide, putting it into the back of the net. And he placed it nicely into the corner, actually. You guys can see that right there on the right side of the net or the left side if you're coming from right, Wayne Rooney's point of view right there. And it was a great goal, man. But straight away... It comes to full time. You know why? Because I skipped it. <laughs> but we do win that game 1-0 against Arsenal. Not like No chances in the game. I was kind of surprised. You know, it was a big rivalry. Van Persie actually did play a part. You know, he got to get that ball in. Um, and it rebounded. And Wayne Rooney luckily picked up the goal. Which made means we won 1-0. But we're going back to Borussia Dortmund. Back. We're going back to the Champions League and we're going to be playing Borussia Dortmund and Kagawa and Royce are playing against their former club. We're going to look at that. Look at that. Kagawa in CAM, uh, Royce in left mid with Nani on the right mid and Rooney and Van Persie just in front. But let's go back a bit. Fellaini in CDM. So we're playing one in CDM today. And Butner in left back. Vidic and Jones in centre back. Raphael in right back. And as always, to Steigen in goal. Lindegaard dropping down to the bench once again. Fabio and Ferdinand on the bench. Carrick dropping down to the bench also cleverly. And a few other players. I believe Wildback was on the bench too. And Borussia Dortmund here got themselves a corner. But watch this for a counter. Straight away it comes to Van Persie. Van Pl Persie play plays it down to Royce. And Royce has that like 92 sprint speed or whatever it is. And he was going to go all the way. But then he found Van Persie on the edge of the box. And he put it into the back of the net in the 57th minute. And I was like... Royce is kind of, he's not that as greedy as I thought he'd be, you know, probably, he would have probably liked to have scored against his former team, but getting an assist is just as good when you come, when, when you're a left mid player, you know, for some reason he's playing on the right mid in that position, not sure, probably because it was a corner and that's just the position he was in or something, man, but Borussia Dortmund weren't laying down, you guys can see they get on the attack here, Shiba gets it into Blavoskowski, they hit the post! That was lucky for me, man. They got, they got a good chance there. They could have won. I mean, could have won. They could have tried it all up. They could have drew the game 1-1. But we do pick up the 1-0 victory. Robin Van Persie with the big, big goal in the 57th minute, making the difference. And it's a great goal to give us three points in the Champions League. You know, we've been waiting for that three points to be in the Champions League and to, like, lift us in the table. So hopefully that's going to put us, at, like, towards the top of the table in the Champions League. But we've got to fly back to England for a game in the North London area again after face, facing Arsenal before that game. we got to play Tottenham. And you guys know Carrick's a former Tottenham player, right? So we had to put him in the team. You guys can see there alongside Fellaini. And just behind them, we've got Fabio, Vidic, Jones and Raphael and Ter Steigen in goal. But in front of all of them, we've got Nani in right mid. We've got Royce in left mid. Wayne Rooney in CAM and Van Persie in strike. And while back once again on the bench with Kagawa and players like that, man. So hopefully... 
hopefully we can pick up a win here because you know Carrick's playing is is it's against his former team he's going to want to pick up a win so they got to be hungry for that kind of win man but turn him on the ball here and then nanny just won the ball nicely from i believe it was norton and look at this for a run from nanny he's just taking the ball and norton's trying to catch up he's not catching up at van percy in that kind of position is gonna put it into the back of the net kind of messy it came in off the post but it was a great goal from van percy in the 34th minute making it one wait is that the 24th 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 minute I just had to check that 24th minute making his ninth goal in all competitions making it 1-0 to Manchester United and then look at this for a chance from Tottenham they're getting it in here they're trying to get that chance and we're defending pretty well they get a shot in and was that a handball I'm not sure I have got handballs on but for some reason that wasn't a handball let me know in the comment section do you think it should should have been a handball it kind of hit his elbow I believe it's elbow and downwards that's handball, I'm not sure. But um, Van Persie picking up the big goal in that. But you've got to say, the biggest thing in that game has probably got to be, is it a handball, you know? But we do pick up that win with the big goal in the 24th minute, making Robbins Van Persie's ninth goal in all competitions this season. Is he going to be the beast for us this season? That's hopefully going to be what happens here at Manchester United, man. But we're going to go ahead and look at the table here. You can see Manchester United on 32 points. We've got Manchester City on 26 points, just 6 points behind. And Chelsea and Liverpool on 25. Spurs on 22. Arsenal sitting down there in 14th, which I'm quite surprised at with um, 15 points. So hopefully they can go up the table you know i want to see them going up the table but make sure you guys like and comment on this video also subscribe if you haven't already it's been your boy sunny make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you favorite the video share the video and also check out the previous episode peace